you are listening to the Beaumont and Beckett show on BBC Radio 2 with Lucy Beaumont. Oh, Rob, I have had the best time. Thank you for believing in me. Oh, no, I mean, you, you've been incredible. Oh, the perfect radio host. You have had me in stitches. Oh, same. Feelings mutual. And it's a good job the caesarean's closed up properly. You've also got a surprise for John, is that right? I have, yeah. I shouldn't say too much mm. about it, but it is his birthday coming up. Big, and it's big, not even... Big 50. His... This is unbelievable. Does he like surprises? No, of course he doesn't. No. He hates them. So why, why are you doing I it? like them. OK, that makes sense. He'll get into the swing of it. It's all about putting him in situations, isn't it? And letting him enjoy it. I have organised an epic surprise for you that I am. I'm very proud of myself, I must admit. Can I say now I don't want it? The only thing you cannot say is you don't want it, cos you will want it and you'll enjoy it. So the topic is happiness. Let's speak to our first caller. What's your name, mate? Hello there. My name's John Richardson and I'm the happiest man in Hebden Bridge. Oh, Thanks yeah. for calling in, John. Well, I just decided to phone up and congratulate you both on some fantastic shows and compliment you on your chemistry, which brings joy to literally hundreds of people. It's nearly a compliment there, John. Yeah. Well, I'm a nice guy. I'm just trying to be nice. And I think nice guys deserve treats. And I think as a treat for being nice, perhaps, Lucy, you could tell me what you've got planned for my birthday so I'm not anxious for the next God knows how long. Well, it's a surprise, John. You don't, don't, you, don't you enjoy a surprise? I'll tell you what, then. If you love surprises... Here's a little surprise for you. <laughs> I actually think it's a complete pile of... Oh. OK, uh, so, sorry to listeners there. But Absolute dickhead. Unbelievable. That isn't the nice. I'm really sorry about your life. Oh. This is Beaumont and Beckett on BBC Radio 2.